know, the interesting thing here is it, it really starts with the first set that I worked on, and that was Legends. Um, I, it kind of blew my mind when the art director actually, you know, called that in. I talked directly with uh, Jesper Muir first, and Jesper was like, I've got 10 cards. And I was like, great, you know, what are the cards? And he filled me in on Dakon Blackblade, Nebuchadnezzar, you know, like, you know, like uh, and all the rest of the 10 legends. And uh, I knew right off the bat that these were just perfect cards you know, for me. You know, it totally suited my style. And uh, Dakon in particular is a character that, you know, I identify with to a certain degree. And uh, I've been drawing and painting Dakon for 30 years. And the truth is, is I never get tired of it. It's like my own private MCU. I've got these characters, these 10 characters that really started everything. And uh, so when, you know, somebody comes up, a buyer, a collector, a fan, and says, hey, can you do a, a Nebuchadnezzar sketch? Can you do a Ramses, you know, sketch? I'm always thrilled. It was really that set that set everything into motion. It's funny because I never knew back in the day which cards were going to be big cards or which cards were just, you know, which cards were basically going to get a lot of play. And so it never made a difference, you know, like, it was really the character they gave me, the card itself. And so I can remember getting, in Mirage, for instance, Searing Spear Iscari. And I love that painting. And uh, it was just thrilling. I, I just sat down and I really had no idea if, it, you know, it'd be a big card or a small card. I just loved the character itself. And so that's always how I approach the work. It was really about the character, the idea, the concept. So a lot of cards actually, you know, kind of pop, you know, come to mind, you know, readily. I love Recall. It's a card that never got a lot of play, but it's a really cool painting, you know? So it was strange, you know, and it's funny which cards kind of come back into play as the years go by. I'm still signing so much of the vintage work. And Boomerang, for instance, you know, Boomerang disappeared. I didn't sign a Boomerang for 10, 12 years. And then all of a sudden, I'm signing a load of Boomerangs. Uh, Dingus Staff. I didn't see that card for years, and all of a sudden, it's Dingus Staff. So it's just really interesting to see what comes back into recirculation and, you know, like what still resonates. And the truth is, is a lot of that early work really still seems to resonate, you know, especially in the, you know, like, you know, like vintage community and all that. But even with like uh, new players, you know, they're starting to find my older work uh, or through my new work. So it's just, it, it's kind of a wonderful tapestry and a wonderful history, you know, like, you know, like with all of these cards and all of these the various sets I've worked on. What do we love? We love magic. It's Magic 30. And this, these shows have just been amazing. It's been amazing to meet everyone. It's been amazing to just have this experience. And uh, here's to another 500 years of magic. <laughs>